welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright. I am so excited, I'm so excited. We are moving from the borderland to the Ozarks. We are PCSing from Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas to Fort Leonard Wood in the middle of nowhere, Missouri. <laughs> it's like surrounded by Waynesville and St. Roberts, which we're actually living in another tiny town right there. So, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started talking about our move. So I wanted to share just a little bit about our move story, why we're moving, when we found out, all of the things because I've been kind of keeping it quiet I know on comments and stuff I've been like we're moving especially if you're military um and if you're military and you're moving here I'm like we're moving because we won't be here um much longer at all just a couple a few more weeks so when my husband decided to go from reserves to active duty we were told that we would be here at Fort Bliss for the entire contract so his, I think he signed like a three or four year contract. We would have to be here for this entire time and that he would not be a eligible to change his MOS, but he really wanted to go active duty. So he had planned to change his MOS as soon as he possibly could. After he deployed, he was talking with some peers and found out that the 12 Papa or prime power specialist is an exception to most rules like that. Um, it really piqued his interest. He talked to the, I'm not sure if he was a recruiter that he was talking with or like retention specialist, one or the other. He talked with the people who knew more things, who knew the things and found out that it is possible. However, it is very hard to qualify on um, that MOS. So he had to have an ASVAB score. I don't remember of what, but his ASVAB score was still quite a bit higher than the qualification you had to have a technical score of a certain percentage i think it was like over 110 or something or over 120 something like that this is not about that so we're moving on um and then you have to take a test so on top of having a really high asvab score you have to take and pass this entry test um which is a very difficult test apparently so when he passed because he did pass he was the first person that that really particular recruitment group had seen pass and he was far from the first who had tried so he's I'm so proud of him I am so proud that he was able to find something that he's passionate about and that he qualified to go ahead and get into now um, and then he did the work to get there it took a, it was a long process he found out about that about a month after he deployed and he spent all of his downtime pretty much trying to get into the test so that he could take the test and then once he passed out he passed there was lots of paperwork and things for him to do in order to get a school date so he got his date before he ever came home so we knew we would be moving i started looking at properties for this area when i found out where the school was so there's only one school for this um and i just started doing basic research i'm gonna do an entire series so before I go back into my story, um, Military One Source has a really awesome like plan my move checklist. You can put your du current duty station and then your next duty station and it'll literally break it down. And I'm gonna go through in sections and do a several part series on PCS moves um, with our experience and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna try not to go astray and talk about our experience so far, which has been good has been an experience i think all of them are i have never heard anyone that didn't have quite a colorful experience when they were pcsing with military it is very convenient the way the military sets it up however getting it set up is not always the easiest breeziest we'll talk more about this we'll talk more i'm really surprised at how at home el paso feels and that I'm gonna miss it because I am. I'm gonna miss this little piece of the world here in the borderland. Um, I also like how like whimsical like the borderland sounds 
and then the Ozarks. So the Ozarks, it's just woods <laughs> on a plateau with lots of water. So we're excited. We're excited to be moving to the Ozarks, to Missouri, to Fort Ownerwood. And I'm excited to share that because I literally could not find anything online about PCSing to Fort Leonard Wood. I think not a lot of people PCS there. It's not a super, it's a very small base compared to like Fort Bliss, but that doesn't change the fact that like it's good to have information available, right? Am I right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna be sharing all of that stuff. Um, we celebrated, we waited to celebrate until my husband got his orders. Um, we went to the West Texas Chop House, I think is what it's called, and they have something called a tomahawk steak. It's like a hundred dollar meal that he had, like the steak meal thing for the steak and the potato was like a hundred dollars, but it's like a super aged. Anyway, I'm going to insert pictures of that now. So we went out and celebrated, um, his hard work for passing and passing the test getting his orders and getting to change his MOS. So MOS is your job in the military. I think I already said that. So he's going from an 88 mic to a 12 papa or 12 um, P. It's a prime power specialist is what he's going to be doing. Yeah, we're so excited. And that's the end of this little video, I think. So I, I feel very happy right now. I've also been very stressed. And also just enjoying time with my husband. I think it's like a combination work together. So my husband came home and I was just enjoying spending time with him and I got out of the habit of making my YouTube videos. Videos for the tube. So I'm committing to two videos a week. So I'm gonna do a weight loss journey video on Wednesdays and a cleaning video on Saturdays. And then when I can, I'm gonna do this military series probably on Mondays. Um, but it's not going to be consistently on Mondays. It's just going to be as I can. So Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'm going to be posting little videos and I hope that you will subscribe if you're not subscribed and that will be able to become best YouTube pals. So I will see you guys in the next one. Wish us luck on our move.